Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I have another tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make your cursor on your Mac larger if you want. Sometimes the default cursor size is a bit too small and it's easy to lose it on the screen. Or sometimes you want the cursor larger because you are doing a presentation and you want to make it easier for people to see what you are pointing at. So it's super easy to do. Let me head over to the computer and show you how to do it. All right, here we are over at my computer. So what you'll do on the Mac, in order to change the size of your cursor, see my cursor there in the middle? It's pretty small. It's the size that I normally have it. It's just the default size. But if you want it to be larger, what you can do, go up here to the Apple sign, and then go to System Preferences. And then once System Preferences come up, go right here to Accessibility. Click on that. And then once that comes up, come on down here to Display. And here you go. Here is your cursor size scale. So it's a slider. Just slide that and you can watch as your cursor size gets larger and larger. Cool. See, now there it is, quite a bit larger and um, really easy to see, especially if you want to point things out. Like if we were doing like, for example, this background, if it was like a star map and I wanted to point out certain elements in the map, like um, planets or things like that, or whatever it might be. Um, that's just an example. It could be on any document or whatnot. And so that's, you can do it. Or if you just want your cursor size to be larger because you're tired of losing it. Sometimes when it's this small, you can lose it pretty easy, like especially if you have two monitors. <laughs> but uh, there you go, really easy just to go back and forth and make your cursor larger or smaller. There you go. That's how you make your cursor on your Mac larger. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. If you are into cooking, I have a cooking channel and I have a lot of videos over there. I'll put a link down below where you can find that. It's called In the Kitchen with Matt. Until next time, take care.